What's up everybody? Live show, check it out. Uh, this is a live show update. After show update. Um, I've made a mess. Lucky charms and cereal and coffee and drinks and it's a terrible mess, but really what I wanted to show you on this table was these quenching discs right there. And uh, this ceramic thing right here. I did a bunch of uh, quenching disc tests and you know they were pretty darn cool. Some crazy stuff happened on a couple of tests, so I'll be uploading that video here shortly. Um, I also trying to get the EPG set up a little bit better. I put a uh, connector on here. I gotta make me a bracket to hold this connector in place, but these pulse fire box, I'll just leave this cord on here like this and uh, kind of wrap it up when I'm not using it or something. And uh, then this cord will just plug right into the EPG here. And uh, I'm gonna try to do some simple tests with this, but Nothing uh, uh, too complicated because I, I definitely feel that there needs to be more studying done on this before I get to do anything. Um, but I guess while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and make this part of my uh, live or part of my live show update. So here we go. Uh, this also, I've got this UPS that my dad got from work, his work, and it's big. And this is how big it is. So, just for fun, let's pull these cords off. And I want to show you the the heat sinks behind this thing. Look at these uh, MOSFETs on this freaking heat sink, man. Whole bunch of them, both sides, probably high amperage stuff. But what's really cool is. <laughs> Never quite seen a heat sink quite like that where it's actually bonded together. I don't know, that's that's different. Never really seen a big heat sink like that, but these big inductors and uh, transformer, a few other goods, odds and ends. But yeah, I mean, some of these capacitors and stuff, if this thing fails, this is a 240, 240 volt, and uh, max rated wadding. Wattage is 3750 so I could hook this up to my house if I get it going and have battery backup for my house if I had some things I wanted to back up um, doing some testing with it it uh, has a battery fault right now there's the plugs in and out and uh, real quickly I'm gonna pull these batteries out check this out this is almost this is almost dumb how big this there's two so there there's the battery packs for it now these battery packs are about to the end of their life but these batteries are probably still okay if I did some Bendini tricks on them, hit them with some high voltage spikes, I bet we could get them to come back to life quite well, actually, because they still hold a great charge. Um, now, one thing um, that I would like to do, and I've always wanted to do this, but I, I've had a lot of these batteries in the past, but they've all been shot. So, what I really want to do, and I've always wanted to do this, and I will be doing this, it is slightly dangerous, so I'm going to have to get the correct... I'm going to have to make sure my parameters are correct when I do this, but this big breaker right here, that's a big breaker, and it would be great to take the 250, 260 volts and directly short them across the rotating coil for just a split second. So I could take a lower amperage rating and connect these batteries, and as a matter of fact, the the breaker back here will work perfect. I can pull power right out of the back, 240 volts or more, 260 volts, and uh, I can pull it right out of the back and then hook it up to this breaker. Obviously we're wearing the correct PPE for this adventure and uh, boop! Ow! 260 DC across the rodent coil. You've all seen me do crazy things with rodent coils. So I think it would be a blast. So, 
I might uh, end up trying that now that I have the opportunity. I've got the correct setup, so that was a pretty cool find. Uh, but yeah, the, the batteries, uh, turn it on and the battery flashes, and they bought new batteries, I guess, and put it in here in the exact same problem. So these batteries are getting close to the end of their life anyway, but um, it's a heck of a UPS, man. It takes up my whole table. I mean, that's ridiculous. There's a case for it. Anyway, I just thought I'd show that and put that in this little update. Great little find. Something that I'll be playing with. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's it. Russ out. I'll be uploading lots of different things. I've been trying to catch up on my uploads. I've actually made a lot of footage and never had that time to edit and upload it from last week and stuff. So, awesome. Can't wait. You want to do some spinning? All right. Spinning's always fun. All right. See you guys later. Bye.